The objective of this lesson is to be able to recognize negative numbers as rational numbers and model a negative number as a quantity and understand a real-world application. Let's introduce some vocabulary before we get started. Integers, whole numbers and their opposites. Look at the zero. One to the right of zero is positive one, and one to the left of zero is negative one. So one and negative one are called opposites. Two and negative two are opposites, and three and negative three are opposites. This goes on forever. Notice that integers do not include fractions. Positive numbers, numbers that are greater than zero. It can be written as three or plus three. They go on forever to the right on the number line. Negative numbers, numbers that are less than zero. Negative numbers are notated with a minus sign written before the digits. Negative numbers go on forever to the left. The plus and minus signs in these cases don't mean addition and subtraction. They indicate a positive or negative value. Notice that the farther to the right you go on a number line, the larger the number, and the farther left you go, the smaller the number. Because integers do not contain fractions, the rational number system is introduced. Rational numbers are any negative or positive numbers that can be written as a fraction, such as one-fourth, two-thirds, and seven and three-eighths. The number negative four is rational because it can be written as negative four over one. The decimal 4.5 is also a rational number because it can be written as the fraction 45 tenths. Let's look at some real world examples of when rational numbers are used. Reading a thermometer is exactly the same as reading a number line. Any number above zero is positive and we say seven degrees above zero. And any number below zero is negative and we say eight degrees below zero. Let's look at some positive and negative numbers that pertain to money. Checking accounts. Positive amounts show that you have deposited money and have money available in your account. Negative amounts mean you may have spent more money than you had available, so you owe the bank money. You are in debt. Zero indicates that you have no money and you don't owe any money. In golf, par is how many swings a golfer should get on a particular hole, and it is represented by zero. If a player takes more swings than par, the score will be positive. If a player takes less swings than par, the score will be negative. In golf, the winner is the player with the lowest score, so a negative score, or below par, is better in this case than a positive score, or above par. Elevation. Sea level is said to be a zero elevation, and everything is measured from that point. Any point above sea level is positive, and anything below sea level is negative. If a hiker is hiking up a mountain, she will be gaining elevation. The feet she climbs will be positive numbers, and we could say she is 300 feet above sea level. A deep sea diver will be going below sea level, so he would be losing elevation below zero. The feet he declines will be negative numbers. We would say that he is 78 feet below sea level. Manipulatives can be used to show positive and negative numbers. We can use these red counters to represent negative numbers and the yellow counters to represent positive numbers. So five red counters would represent negative five. Three yellow counters would represent positive three. Have your child count out the counters for some different scenarios. They will have to choose whether it is a positive or negative number they are representing. Then have them actually write the number. What if you wanted to go to the movies with your friends, but you didn't have any money? Your sister said she would lend you the $10 you need, but you would have to pay her back. Represent with your chips how much money you have after the movie. Your child will need to choose 10 red chips to show they have less than $0. They owe $10, so they have negative $10. The stock market went up two points today. Represent the gain it made. Your child will need to choose two yellow markers to represent the positive change of two points. Give your child enough stories to make sure they understand when it will be a positive or negative value. Our objective in this lesson was to be able to recognize negative numbers as rational numbers and model a negative number as a quantity. We met this objective by introducing integers, which are positive and negative whole numbers, on the number line. We then introduced rational numbers, which are any numbers that can be written as a fraction. We then showed examples when these rational numbers are used in real-world situations. We also represented numbers with manipulatives and in writing.